Hey y'all, it's your girl Viva La Morena and we're back with another video. Yes, this is gonna be a part two. I didn't think it was gonna I was gonna do a part two for another body mess declutter, but it needs to be done. I mean, I found a couple more products that I don't need and I don't want and my no longer want in my collection. So I've decided to declutter them. Yesterday was 17 body mist. 17. Today we have seven. But yesterday, out of the 17 that I decluttered yesterday, I decided to keep two. And one of them was Endless Sea. You know, because after I did the video, I started smelling the products again. And this was the one that I said to myself, girl, this smells good. What were you thinking? So, yeah. It still gives me aroma, uh, not aromatherapy. It gives me home fragrance vibes, like um, air freshener, room spray vibes. And let's see. But I don't know. There was something about it that I really enjoyed. And I plan on wearing this today. Yes, I plan on wearing this today. I do have it in the mini fragrance mist. So I am going to use the mini, keep it in my bag, because I'm going to play with this one this whole week. Um, the other one I decided to keep, take a wild guess. It was, um, what was it? Sweet Strawberry Scoop? I think that's what it's called. Sweet Strawberry. I gave it to my daughter. I showed it to her. I have a 10-year-old. And she's like, Mommy, this smells so good. It smells like candy. I said, exactly. It smells like candy. So I gave it to her and she likes it. So it's in her room upstairs right now. Is it strawberry? Did I say it right, guys? Put in the comments if I said it right. This the fruit sherbet. Is it fruit sherbet scoop? Yeah, I think it's that one. Yeah. The pink one from last year. Um that they brought back this year, I think. So my daughter ended up keeping that one, and I ended up keeping this one. And the other ones I definitely definitely decluttered which i still have right here and after i do this video i will be getting ready to step out um and i will be donating these to a shelter yes so yeah i'm gonna wear this one today see if i really really like it because i don't know i kept on sm smelling it and i was like girl just keep it yeah so i decided to keep it all right so we have seven more fragrance mists First and foremost, we have a, an oldie. It's called Margarita Cupcake. So this one, which is the only one I own in my collection, this one came out, it doesn't say the year. What I will say is that the fragrance was, was $15.50. It doesn't say the year. If I were to guess, there's no scent notes either. If I were to guess, it was probably... 2018 2019 maybe 2019 but i remember this came out with the very first strawberry pound cake so i think it was 2019 or 2018 one of those two years the thing about margarita cupcake is that i can smell the margarita but i'm not getting the cake note there's no cake note there. I think I probably, there's a little tiny dent on this. I think I probably wore it once or twice. I don't recall wearing it much. So yeah, um, not a love for me, so it needs to go. Yeah. Another one that really, really needs to go is Black Cherry Merlot. Y'all, I tried. I don't know. It smells like Robitussin cough syrup to me. My boyfriend claims that it smells like NyQuil. Um, I remember he mentioned that to me in the shower gel. And he ain't lying. It did, it did smell like cough syrup to me. So I had to declutter that shower gel because I remember I used it once and I didn't like it. And I do have one mist. Is it up there? Yeah, it's up there. I do have one of this left and i think i'm fine with the one i don't need the backup i thought i was gonna like it but in the end i didn't I'm, I'm not gonna keep it um another one that i thought i was gonna like is underwater oasis i do have underwater oasis in the mini and i'm fine just keeping it in the mini i don't really like this scent 
I think this scent is leaning a lot towards masculine. Um, and I'm the type of girl that I just like to smell pure feminine. Like I like to smell girly and fun and flirty. And this one, it's it's the bergamot. It's the bergamot um scent I think that I don't like. Like it's it's just a little too strong for me. It's too strong. I, I, it's just it's not my vibe. Like I already explained to you guys, aquatics is not really a big thing. It's not really a big thing for me. This one, it's a little too po potent for me. I don't know. I'm okay with it. Just having it in the mini mist. That's it. Um, this is another one. Y'all yeah, gonna hate me for this one. So this one is Gingham Fresh. This was my least favorite of the ginghams that they put out last year. Oh, too floral. It's just way too floral mixed with a lot of pear, a lot of pear. No, I do have it in one big mist. I have it upstairs and I do have it in a mini mist. And I think I'm fine just with one big one and a mini one. I think I'm good. I don't think I need the backup. So the backup needs to go. Another one was not really a love for me was the Golden Berry Mistletoe. And I think I explained that to you guys in the shower gel declutter video. That This was another one that smelled a little too masculine for me. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It, it's not a love. I do have one mist. It's up there. I'm fine with just with the one mist. I don't think I need the backup. I thought I liked it at first. Which I did like, and I do enjoy the candle. I do love the candle in this scent. But the body mist is, I don't know. I also do have it in the mini mist. So I'm okay with that. And last one from Bath & Body Works is Gingham Unstoppable. Mm, not a love for me. Just, it's just not a love. Like, it was just, I feel like I did like it. When it first came out, the coconut scent was good. I really enjoyed that coconut. But now it's just a little too musky for me. I don't know. And it says right here, fresh neroli, sparkling water, and clean musk. Yeah. It's just a little too musky for me. It just not really my vibe. It, it's almost leaning towards aquatic too. And y'all already know how I feel about that. And last but not least, this is a fragrance mist. It's not from Bath & Body Works. It's actually from Sab Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth. I thought I was going to like this scent. I remember I purchased her perfume, Sabrina Carpenter, just a Sweet Tooth, a pink one. It's like boxy and it looks like a chocolate bar. I did enjoy that perfume, but I guess this is a new one that she put out. This one is called Caramel Dream. Y'all, I can't smell any caramel in this. I can't smell any. Like, it's just... To me, it just smells a lot like straight-up alcohol. I'm going to be honest. It says right here, dark chocolate bean enveloping caramelized amber and musk. I don't know. It don't smell like caramel to me. It, it don't smell nothing like caramel like i thought i was gonna like this scent because everybody was raving about this and i bought it at um walmart but i didn't i didn't see it in the store so i decided to buy it online so it was a blind buy and when i got it home mm, i just didn't like it i didn't like it at all um i i do however want to smell the actual perfume to see if it's different than the mist but this i do not want to keep at all so we are decluttering those seven body mist so that was part two of the declutter of my body mist i don't think i need to declutter anything else i think i decluttered everything that i wanted to declutter from bath and body works will i do a victoria's secret declutter i don't tend to do victoria's secrets declutter sometimes i do if i do declutter them i don't do videos about it i just give them away to family members but most of my products from Victoria's Secret, they tend to last me longer. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, be kind, be humble, and stay blessed. Bye, guys. Chaucito. See you next time.